Merci d'être venu, garçon et fille. No? Okay, how about this one? Danke für kommen, Jungs und Mädels. Okay? Yeah? No? Alright, raise your hand if you get this. Thank you for coming, boys and girls. <laughs> Whew, I thought I was getting lost in translation there for a second. It's me, Pastor Chris, and welcome to Pixels to Go. And merci, gracias, grazie, arigato. Thank you for coming today. This month, we're shouting out some gratitude to God, to friends, and to family, to everyone. What is gratitude? Let's take a look. Gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. People help you all the time, right? Whether it's giving you instructions how to do something, teaching you how to figure out your math homework, or even giving you tips on where to fish in Animal Crossing. The people around you can be pretty helpful. Gratitude is simply letting them know that you know they've helped you. And you can show gratitude in lots of different ways. Before we learn how to shout out some thank yous, let's play a game. On your screen, you will see flags from all different countries somewhere on this planet. Each of these countries has a language that the people speak most often. It's your job to figure out how to say thank you in each of these languages, then match up your thank you to their flag. Who's up for matching some gratitude? All right, let's play. Here's your first thank you. Gracias. See if you can guess which flag belongs to the word gracias. You can come up to the screen and point to the flag you think is correct. Gracias is the way you say thank you in Mexico. Let's play again. Here is thank you number two. Cheers, mate. Which flag does that belong to? You guessed it. That is from England. Number three. Merci beaucoup. Any guesses to that flag? Merci beaucoup comes from France. Time for our next thank you. Grazie. Where does that come from? Italy. Did you guess it correctly? This next one is really fun. Are you ready? Tomo arigato. <laughs> You're right. That comes from Japan. Here is number six, Donka. I do believe that is from Germany. On to the next final one, Tora. Great job, that's from Israel. And now you know how to say thank you in lots of other languages. Give yourselves a big round of applause. This month, we're talking about what it means to live with gratitude, to let others know you see how they've helped you. We'll start by taking a look in the Bible at a verse from 1 Thessalonians. The book of 1 Thessalonians is actually a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Jesus followers who lived in a place called Thessalonica. Paul wanted to encourage the Thessalonians to keep up the good work and keep spreading the news about Jesus. Here's what Paul encouraged them to do. It's something that we can do also. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Look at that first part, no matter what happens. I mean, really? I'm supposed to give thanks no matter what? Even if I fail a test, even if my car breaks down, even if there's a virus that closes down the entire world, how does that work? There are always things in our lives that are challenging or stressful. But at the same time, there are always good things too. There are always things that we can be thankful for. We just have to pay attention and remember what they are. No matter what's going on in our lives, one thing is always true. 
God is with us. He loves us. He will never leave us. When we start to feel overwhelmed or anxious about something, we can take time to talk to God and thank Him. When things are going great in our lives, we can stop and take time to thank Him. Or when it's just an ordinary day with some good things and some bad things, we can still choose to thank Him in the middle of it. We know we should be grateful, but sometimes we forget, don't we? I know I do from time to time. And for me, if I don't write things down, I'm bound to forget them. In fact, I want to tell you about a time when I was honestly, truly thankful I had God in my life. One time, we were all about to get in the car, and it was raining so hard that I left my family under an awning and went ahead to pull the car around. Then, right in front of me, a car zoomed out of control and crashed right into the car next to mine. It was really scary, but God was with me and made sure my family and I were totally safe. I want to remember why I'm so thankful, so I'm just going to write it as a note in my phone. I'm going to write, rain, car, protection. That way I can always remember. Let's take a closer look at something in that verse. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. What does that last part say? God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. If we believe in Jesus, I mean, if we truly believe that Jesus is the Son of God who came to this world to be our Savior, then we have faith that can keep us strong even when everything around us seems to go wrong. Jesus lived a perfect life. Everywhere He went, He gave people hope. He was loving, patient, and kind. He was also firm and spoke up when he saw things that were wrong. He was a great friend to all. And when he died on the cross, Jesus paid the price for our sins. He gave his life on the cross so we could have a relationship with God that will last forever. I am so incredibly grateful to have Jesus in my life. I can face anything with courage because I know he is my savior. God's love for us is constant. It never stops. It never fails. Jesus died for us so that we could be forgiven and have a personal relationship with Him. If we remember that, if we believe that God is with us, and if we put our faith in Jesus as our Savior, then we can be grateful no matter what happens. It's difficult, I know. When going through hard times, it's hard to be grateful. When you find out that someone you love is super sick, it's hard to be like, yay, I'm so grateful. When kids are mean to you at school, you probably don't think right away about how thankful you are. But here's the truth. Through all the ups and downs of life, through the good times and the bad, we can choose to stop and think about what we know is true. God loves us so much that He sent Jesus to be our Savior. If you think about it that way, there is always something to be thankful for. Let's take a minute right now for you to come up with your own shout outs to God. You can talk about them with your family right now. Just think about it. Why are you so grateful to God? Are you really thankful for something He's done in your life? Write down a few words or a picture that reminds you of what He's done for you. You can pause the video in case you need more time to talk. Listen, if the year 2020 has taught us anything, it's that life has its ups and downs. But through it all, God is always the same. He's always with us. We know that His love for us will never change. We can trust Him no matter what. He sent Jesus for us and nothing can ever take that away. That's why it's important for us to stop and talk to God. It's important for us to remember what's always true. Then we'll be able to do what Paul wrote about. We'll be able to give thanks no matter what. Remember, you always have something to be grateful for. Your relationship with God will bring you joy no matter what might be happening around you. When things are tough and you're not sure what to do, you can talk to Him and tell Him how you feel. You can thank Him for always being there and listen. And when things are going great and you're happy, talk to God about that too. Thank Him for all the good things in your life. God loves you. He's always with you. And with Him, you always have something to be grateful for. Let's pray. God, we are so, so thankful for everything you've done in our lives. We're thankful that we can count on you no matter what's going on around us. You never change. You always love us. 
Thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior so we can have a relationship with you that will last forever. We love you and we're so grateful that we can trust you no matter what. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. How about that story? We've taken just a few moments and talked about a few words. Words that will remind us of what God has done in our lives. Those words can remind us all to be grateful to God. When we talk to God, we don't have to just ask Him for things we want or ask Him to fix things that are wrong. We can take time to pray simply to thank Him. Remember to thank God. Think about how much He loves you. Think about the good things He has given you. Think about how He sent Jesus to be your Savior and remember that He is always there for you through the good times and the tough times. You always have something to be grateful for. Our memory verse this month is Psalm 136 verse 1. Let's take a look. Give thanks to the Lord because He is good. His faithful love continues forever. Thank Him. He's good all the time. Boom! Now, I hope you have an awesome week. We'll see you next time.